In this video, I'm going to be looking at five wild speculative investments that you could make in New World that could make you a lot of gold. However, keep in mind, it could also lose you a lot of gold depending how much you put in. Most of this is pure speculation, but I think and hope that you and I could maybe make some gold here. So this is my top five speculative investments right now. Now, having said all that about wild speculation, this first one, not that speculative because we know what's coming. And this is going to be related to lost trophy materials. And we know on the roadmap that we are going to get an end game dungeon that is based on the lost creatures. That's on the roadmap, that's coming in summer, that's all confirmed. And this is relatively simple, you can either invest in the trophies themselves or indeed you can invest in the materials for those trophies. Now obviously this information now has been out for several weeks but it's just whether or not you think people have moved enough on this market for you to get invested in. I personally think these are going to go up when the dungeon comes out and especially when we get the mutation version of it but do keep in mind that no investment is guaranteed for all i know amazon could come along and basically remove the combat trophies or completely nerf them i just can't confirm it one way or another but this one a pretty solid investment i think the next one i'm going to be talking about is void ore and void ingots now this stuff is basically only useful for the void bent armor and well not a lot of people are using that anymore because they've moved on to either two perk items where they have like a weapon perk and a really good perk or they've found like best in slot so void or over Overall is getting used less and more of it and more of it just keeps getting found so the price is dipping and dipping and quite frankly it will likely continue to go down until Amazon do something about it they introduce something that uses it or it'll just continue to go down and will be forgotten to the uh, history books but there's a couple of things here that they could change for example they could make a higher set of void bent armor they could make it so that you can use void bent ingots to maybe guarantee gear score 600 random perk items there's quite a few things Amazon on could do with void on void ingots that i think this one is actually an interesting gamble obviously the price is going to continue until that announcement happens because there's nothing to go on to summarize that one of two things will happen either the price will just continue to go down and people will just forget about it completely or it'll continue to go down just until amazon announced something and then it'll shoot straight up we just don't know which of those two it's going to be and the third one also isn't really wild speculation but i actually think it might be more speculative than people think and that is to possibly stalk and consumables until the uh, pvp arenas are released again this is something that we know is coming we know pvp arenas are coming in spring which basically means it's not coming in the april patch it's probably coming in the may patch and you might think well that means you know dust health potions regen potions holding stones food buffs everything that you can think of you might think is going to go up in demand and i sort of think so as well but there is actually a chance that amazon maybe ban them from arenas maybe you literally can't use them in arenas or maybe there's like an in game store which you have to go to before the arena starts who knows so on the surface it seems that consumables is a worthy investment right now however just be aware that it might not be as sensible as it sounds however the price of a lot of consumables quite frankly is at an all-time low because of the dupe that happened several weeks back so things like honing stones might be worth just holding on to until arenas come out or if the price doesn't bump up because of arenas maybe they'll just bump up over time anyway so consumes i think might be a relatively safe investment now the fourth category we're going back to trophy materials but in this one we're going to be looking at the gathering trophy materials a lot of the rare materials from gathering have depreciated in value over time because quite frankly there's been an easy way of getting them via the aptitude system that has basically lowered the relevancy and the price of the gathering trophy mats so harvesting and mining and all that kind of stuff however at some point i think amazon might change that and basically boost these trophies because they're possibly going to introduce maybe some rarer materials that you need the trophies to find a little bit like void or but for the other gathering professions now people generally aren't running that many chest runs these days so the prices aren't necessarily as low as they could be but i think they're unlikely to go much lower and if amazon does something that boosts them a little bit well then the price could go soaring again so just keep an eye out if you find any bargains here the next one is my all-time favorite i've pretty much been saying either buy or sell in each video it's like buy one week sell the next week buy again sell etc and that is of course vials of suspended as off right now these vials are pretty much at an all-time low price they're somewhere between one or two gold on my server and if nothing changes in game then that price is actually more likely to go lower than up it's just going to continue to sink and go lower and lower and lower because pretty much everybody's at full as off and nobody really has any use for the vials so people are just collecting them and just offloading them for like next to nothing however in this case the developers pretty much openly said that they like as off and they want to add 
more uses for Azor. So if they do that, things again could change. Now there's a couple of things that they could do. Maybe they'll make it so that you can use more Azoth in crafting. Maybe they'll actually reduce the amount of vials people are getting because you get so much from like all different kinds of activities anyway. Who really knows? But like something like one gold, if you bought 200 for 200 gold and then eventually it went up to maybe like 10 gold a pop, well, you've just pretty much made like one and a half thousand gold. And the good thing about this investment is that it's quite flexible. You can literally just pick the number that you're comfortable with, buy into it, hold on to it, see what happens. So this is just some sort of like preemptive ideas. As I said, wild speculation. The idea behind this video is basically if Amazon announced something and that causes a price change, well, it's very difficult to react in time to actually maximize any kind of gold profit from it. However, if you predict something like that is happening, well, you're in a much better place. But obviously with that, you have a higher risk, but potentially higher reward. Keep in mind that I am not a new world financial advisor. However, you could basically call this new world financial advice, but you should take it with a pinch of salt. A lot of the things I said here could quite frankly just keep going down in price and may never go up again. In this video, I would really like to see your comments. Do you have any other things I should maybe be buying? Write that in the comments below and I will probably pick some of it up and we'll see how long it takes before I get a profit or if maybe I just never do and I just lose money. That's all fine. Like and subscribe. Come follow me on Twitch. Have a most beautiful day. Goodbye.